Hello everybody, Jason Noble here and I just wanted to talk to you about something very important in soccer that it should be obvious but it often gets overlooked. It gets overlooked all the time by players and it shouldn't be overlooked by coaches but many coaches do because it is sometimes frustrating to teach. Now this is what I'm talking about learning how to play with both feet. A good soccer player can do pretty much everything they can with their right foot the same with their left foot. Now does that mean you have to be equally as good with both feet? No, not necessarily. I personally do not think any player in the world is equally as good with both feet, but the best players in the world's weak foot is very very good as well. I mean, the idea is to get your weak foot as good as it possibly can so that way in games there is no hesitation or lack of confidence to go ahead and use it. Alright so the easiest thing I'm gonna say to you about this and this is how you should practice and this is how you should think about it most players naturally say they're right-footed will train almost exclusively with their right foot because that's what they naturally have success with well this is obviously wrong because the right foot's improving more and more and their left foot would not be improving at all so the gap between the two is coming more and more and they're becoming less and less confident with their le left foot most likely and the, the fact of the matter is, is their left foot's perfectly capable of learning all these same techniques. I, I, I'm not going to say this is a scientific fact, but my personal opinion is, is everyone is born pretty much with both their limbs being equal. They're both neither handed or neither footed when they are born. What happens is most people tend to start favoring one hand and one foot for different activities in life and because you do this over and over again with that limb you favor it and it begins to become definitely dominant over the other limb I mean, a good one of the reasons I think this is there are most of the things I'm right foot right-handed and left-footed now there are things that I'm better at with my left hand and there are things I'm better at with my right foot but overall I'm right footed and left handed so what we're gonna do to counter this is we're gonna practice each thing like this we're gonna do it one time with our strong foot for every two times we do it with our weak foot so every one time every time I do something once with my strong foot I do it two times with my weak foot that way my weak foot will be improving at double the rate that my strong foot improves hypothetically at least I pers I most people would do one for one but the reason I don't want to do that is your dominant foot is already better and we would be improving them at, uh, on at minimum an equal rate you probably would actually improve your dominant foot quicker that way what we want to do more than anything is get that mental mindset that I have a weaker foot out of your head. You want to be able to shoot, pass, dribble, receive the ball on your weak foot just as good as your strong foot. And the best way to do this is to put higher emphasis on weak footed training. If you do a cones drill once with your left foot, do it twice with your right foot. If you take 10 shots, you should probably take three or four strong footed and six with your weak foot. Six to seven with your weak foot. I try to get more weak footed training if at all possible. And I doubt you'll ever become to where both feet are equal or you switch which foot's dominant, but the gap will be less and you'll be less likely to be in a situation where the ball's on your weak foot and you don't and, and you hesitate to do something with the ball 
because you want it on your strong foot. We want to be able to play the ball on our weak foot almost as well as on our strong foot. And that's all I'm wanting to get from this. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you next time. Bye.